Hi everybody. Um, I've actually meant to make this video for a while and a few of you have asked me to um, do a quick little tutorial on what are called open graph tags. Uh, you ever notice when you are on Facebook and you type in a link that immediately afterwards you've got your choice of images and you have a uh, title and a description of what's uh, possible to actually post there. Um, and what that's called are OG or open graph tags. Uh, Twitter has something similar called Twitter cards. Um, but basically these allow you to customize how you'd like that post to actually appear uh, on Facebook. Notice that you can also update those kind of things right here. Um, I don't think you can actually update the image. You can select different images from the page, um, but I'm going to show you in this tutorial basically how to go in and update that so uh, that you can get your custom uh, image, description, and title uh, to appear uh, on Facebook. Um, so there's three different tools that are actually uh, I've used in the past to be able to do this. Um, Yoast SEO is a pretty good one. Uh, that's an SEO tool uh, for your blog um, on WordPress. Another uh, WordPress plugin is SEO Rotator for images. And then lastly, we've got a plugin called SEO Ultimate. This is kind of uh, SEO Ultimate is, is my favorite that I like to use, but they all kind of do the pretty much the same thing. Uh, so I'll start with SEO Ultimate here. Um, if that is installed and enabled, you'll notice if you go to any post or page and hit edit, then when you scroll down, you should see the section called SEO settings. You might have actually moved this um, from your uh, from the place that it originally appears, but you'll notice here that there are tabs. And the second item here is called social networking networks listing. Basically, this is right where we can update those OG tags. So this would be a sample title here. This would be sample description. You want to say you want to stay a little bit. Um, you don't want to go too long on these. And then if you have your OG images where you can upload it. Normally, um, the image should be selected right from the page itself, right from the featured image, but just in case, I'd like to specify it here. Uh, you can specify an open grab type if you'd like. Uh, if this is a blog article, you can do that. You can plug in an article. And then uh, Twitter card, you can also do a similar thing. Um, it doesn't really, uh, I guess we'll just put it in summary for this. And I'll just click on Publish. You can also update your existing post. Uh, then I'll go ahead and view that post. And I can take that URL. And if I plug it into Facebook initially, let me just uh, refresh this page. Then it should automatically pull that information. It did not get the image in this case. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. This is a tool called the Facebook Debugger. This is a tool I recommend that you use if you want to be very specific about um, posting those open graph tags. And I'm going to click on debug. So I've got an error here. And that error, it did pull the image. Um, scraped URL. OK, looks like the debugger actually um, broke for a second. Um, but I went ahead and hit fetch new scrape information. And it looks here like it did um, pull the correct information now uh, to be able to plug into Facebook. So the problem is sometimes when you plug this information in, it doesn't always get it right away. So you need to use this object debugger to actually scrape new information because Facebook caches um, all of these links. So if you plug this link in on Facebook once, then go back to your blog and update it, and you paste in the same link again, 
you're going to have issues simply because uh, the information from Facebook is actually cached. To remove the cache, what you actually need to do is come over to this object debugger and click on, put the URL in and click on fetch new scrape information. This will actually clear Facebook's cache. So you can see here, I can see what Facebook has existing on tap for this page. And notice that this information hasn't been uh, re-scraped, but it is about a minute old. If I'd like to update that, again, I'll plug in the URL and click on Fetch New Scrape Information um, to get those open graph tags to update and Facebook to clear its cache of your URL. Okay, so now I should be able to copy and paste that link once more and it looks like it is successful. It has pulled the correct sample title, sample description, and uh, the image that's appropriate to that. So that's a quick little review on SEO Ultimate. I'll jump into another tool for SEO Rotator for images. I'm gonna to go to any one of my pages here and click on Edit. Now in this tool, um, it's a little bit different, superseo.com. You're going to actually click over onto social instead, and it's the exact same information here. Uh, we get to put in the social information or the description. We can upload an image, and I believe it's going to scrape the title uh, about Kristen here. So let's go ahead and add... And we can have a Google Google Plus description as well. These all up, these all vary just slightly. Okay, now I'm going to click on open this in a new tab, and I'm going to paste this. I'm going to um, refresh this page and paste this in. We'll see what Facebook gets. Okay, so it got everything, but it did not get, it did grab the title of the actual, the meta title. And it did grab the description that I plugged in, but it doesn't grab the image. I've seen this more and more um, with these links uh, on Facebook. It doesn't always get the image the first time. So I just, just want to refresh, and I'm going to come over to the debugger, plug in the link, hit fetch new scrape information, and it does pull up the image. So now if I come back here, Paste that in one once more. It should actually display, and it does. Okay. The last one is probably the most popular tool. It's called um, uh, Yoast SEO, and I can go to the same place again. And scroll down. And it looks like it's very similar to the one that we had used prior. Uh, although this one has a few more options. Facebook title, Facebook description, Facebook image. Those are OG title, OG description, and OG image. And then secondly, if we have Twitter cards, we can specify different ones for the Twitter cards. So that's just a little bit more comprehensive than the first two that I showed. But the process is identical. Uh, you would basically add the same. What I like to do is use the same meta description from the general area, the general section and basically re-post that same information into the Facebook description and Twitter description. Same thing with the title of the page. I usually would take the SEO title, or what I would call the H1 tag, and place that in the Facebook title and Twitter title. Um, lastly, I would usually use the featured image. We'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at the code. I'm going to view this post. And we can see here that automatically OG tags are up here in the meta, and it shows the updated time and the image. Um, it's automatically populating that for us. It's, it's finding that automatically. Twitter cards are also being populated here as well with the default values. So it appears that with Yoast SEO, 
it will automatically use the defaults that I recommended a second ago um, as the as the values to plug in for these OG tags. If you'd like to override them, you can use your own text to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this screen up. I'm going to edit my post. And I'll click on update. Oops. Hmm, the Twitter image doesn't seem to want to get there. But I'm gonna click on update anyways. It looks like most of the items made it in here. There might be a small bug with the Twitter image upload. I'm not sure why. looks like you have to maybe do that a second time. But now if I reload this page, I should see that that information has changed. Here's my Facebook specific title under OG title. OG description, here's my Facebook specific description. Here's the OG URL. This is important, but WordPress has this built in with the uh, Yoast SEO. Plug in. What's the OG image? This is the specific image that it will post. So let's go ahead and take that, copy, and we'll go to the debugger. Fetch new scrape information. Okay, we've got an error. Let's go ahead and do it again. Oh, I shouldn't have view source here at the beginning. Okay, so now that I've scraped that, it's getting all of this great information here. This is things that these are things that Facebook loves to dive into and check out some more. So now that that's correct, I can paste this over at Facebook. And you'll see that here is the specific information pulled from the site uh, that and others can take a look at. So that's a brief little tutorial on how to get your open graph tags and Twitter cards to show up when posting links on social media sites. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you much.